morning that make it mm -hmm. now the implications of the letter to ice is is big it's a tolerant political environment because we are in a hostile political environment and the, what happened in 2021 election campaign is not is not forgettable it left everybody traumatized and there was visible violation of human rights and though it is taking too long to bring those who participated to justice but justice can be delayed but will always be delivered and the, the truth can never be hidden because what we see we have come and pray that the law to hold up to hide the truth but the truth is coming out the updf the police the what so the implications is like it can create another political paradigm shift that the government will start being cautious that the government will start being rough that the government will let opposition carry out their activities because as we speak for now there is no space for opposition in uganda it's only mohos and Museveni and the nrm women wherever going ahead uh, you remember our mp susan of uh, was beaten very badly joyce bagala was afraid the tear gas so many many things they are happening because they don't accept mouth perspective which is an element of good governance whereas uganda is in a, a political multi dispensation so the implication is big that as for now nrm will pretend as if they haven't taken notice of the report in isis but their actions they are going to be different their intensity is going to be less their brutality and the torture is going to be less that prisoning prisoning people for nothing is going to be less and less because you saw what happened when kenya government official were recommended in the icc kenya has never gone back kenya is looking forward and we are admiring kenya so we need to know that implication is big and it is there for us to see so i will tell you our, our role because it's our duty to play a role that you treat you remind those people you tag those people and they, when you do that we are looking at the big the key players the big fish i'm going to post to you after this live i'm going to post to you we are looking at simon biavakama that who ignored the constitution article 59 f which which says he must listen to complaints of candidates before during and after any up led by our president bobby wine went to ec they had a meeting they sat on the table took them photos showed them evidence malpractice the violence against the nup he just left off and nothing was done and he told us his dish was not working so justice simon you are going to be implicated these are the people who are going to be implicated they have got no escape route you called it the wrong winner when you didn't call the right winner so these are implications because had you intervened in torture in violence it shouldn't go ahead and had you intervened your friend in seven in Mohos, they wouldn't be taken to icc so now this is when nrm looks at who led them into a mistake now the implication is like Museveni has been like conducting telling everybody do this do this do this and people will do well, regardless they want to do it or they don't want to do it they will do it because if we, they don't do it the repercussive the the reprisal is so big and they, they are not they rather do whatever they are being told so the implication is there and Museveni ordered 
and they had no choice, they had to do it. But these are the people who are going to be implicated. Uganda Electoral Commission, which is led by Simon Justice Biawakama, he is a judge. He was meant to retire before he becomes the chairman, but he did. So he's going to be implicated. Bukenya, the spokesman, is going to be implicated. And all these EC people who were around, they are going to be implicated. Who refused the Bobby Wine any to go in 14 district in electoral position, campaigning positions in Masaka? They are going to be implicated. There is no escape route. The implication is that the next Uganda Electoral Commission chairman is going to decide whether to send Notum 7 or to go to ICC. So the implication is big. Do they dare have their name blacklisted and then? Oh, they do what Museveni is. So the implication, Museveni is going to lose all people in NRM where we are, we are, we are like a yes man. They were saying yes to everything Museveni was saying. Now people, they will start saying no. People, they will start being sick. You see, Matia Kasadja, whenever there is a doge, a doge statement or, or a bill to be passed in ministry, so finance, Matia Kasaja will go sick. Matia Kasaja will be traveling. These are the implications that Museven is being cut down now. The people who are going to stand with him in the lie, they're going to be implicated. Another person who is going to be implicated is the Minister of Internal Affairs. By then, that was J.J. Odong. J.J. Odong is meant to be looking at what is happening inside the Uganda. And because of his ministries, it covers the police as well. The police were used, we are using guns, we are committing crimes, we are torturing people, we are committing in violation of human rights. So Mr. Ochora is going to be as well implicated because he's the IGP in Uganda. And also Fred Enanga is going to be implicated because he's the spokesman. He kept on saying and telling lies, which is wrong. Because if you tell lies, you are making life. You are causing people to be at risk and there will be more and more problems. If you don't tell lies, you tell the truth, that could save lots of people. Another person who is going to be implicated, Rusa Chain. Diana Twine and Minister of Health. During that time, the world was faced by, by COVID and uh, Uganda was still had lockdown, the pan pandemic. So what happened that it was lifted and then Luther Chen the, decided to recommend we can go ahead in the election and after I went in the election, then she said this must be done. So she was so controversial, she was contradictory, she misled the government. And in that case, misleading her decisions led to the bloodshed of Ugandans, led to violation. Whatever somebody is doing, this is how NRM plays. They get all these institutions to say yes, 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 and approve and make things look as if it is right. Because they know Uganda is a sovereignty country. Whatever is done, the international cannot intervene. So Luther Chain is going to be implicated. Another person is going to be who, who is that? Mbadi or Mohos? the head of UPDF is going to be implicated because army were heavily involved in the election campaign. There were heavy deployment everywhere. They are not meant to be involved in civil activities. So army is going to be implicated. They like it or not. So these are key players which are going to be picked up and picked up and be picked up and they will have to explain and they will be implicated because they have led their actions, their inactions for them to act has led violence to go ahead. 
has led the gross violation of human rights. So our duty is to keep on, to keep them onto the guard. We have to treat Simon Biabakama, Paul Bukenya, Uganda Electoral Commission, Rosa Chen, Diana Trini, Minister of Health, Minister of uh, Internal Affairs, Minister of uh, uh, IGG, we have to uh, head of police IGG, spokesman Enanga, we have to, and then we have also to implicate the Chief Justice. What was this name? The man with the bad eyes. Now he went to whatever is it I forgot the name. Because they've been involved in all this. They 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 are in a position to decide. Another person who is going to be implicated the big is Ruhutana. Ruhutana. He was the attorney general. I told him to our constitution 119. It says they must advise the government. They should have advised the government not to do what they did, not to beat up people, not to violate, not to rig election. So people, they are going to be picked up one by one, one by one, one by one. But the winner is a Uganda. The winner is NUP people. The winner is democracy. The winner is peace-loving people. Because as people power, we say we are peaceful. So. That is what is going to happen. That, that is what is going to happen. So our duty, I've said to you, the implications is big. We are on the right side, we are going to gain. People who are going to be implicated, they are big. Who are going to be implicated? And we are going to get those people who are involved in murdering Ugandans on 18th and 19th of 2020, November 2020. We are going to get there who gave out the guns. We are going to get at everybody who performed, who was involved into violation of human rights. Mohoz is big one because he was head of SFC. And Mohoz has gone on to treat mocking Bobby Wine. And Mohoz, and we saw SFC was heavily involved was heavily involved in violation of human rights. Another person who is going to be who is going to be implicated is the Minister of Transport by then, because Bobby Wine was not allowed to use public roads. So you can see the implications that next election it could be that opposition will be will be allowed to use public roads. So there is win after win. As I conclude, this is why I always say submission is so, so important, significant, cannot be ignored. Look at this. Our president, Robert Chagrin, submitted a complaint to electoral commission in Uganda of violation or which was going on and Simon Biabakama ignored him. But now you see, it's going to be implicated because we reported this and we had evidence. Evidence is still there. And it's one of the evidence that was submitted. So for me, I always insist we have got nothing to lose when we, we submit any report, when we make a formal complaint, when we keep our evidence. What we have to to do our duty is to keep that evidence in good hands and hold it, not to leave it with the people who are going to be compromised by himself. What we have to do, our evidence always, we have to back up, back up our evidence. We can get five people who are very good, who are very, like, they are not going to be compromised, that they can open up, they can have, um, iCloud. iCloud, each one is given 5 GB. So if it's like 5 GB, each one can store 5 GB. It's a lot. And in that case, we will know who has compromised, who has sold off. So for me, this is what I'm telling you. I'm not bothered by all these funny, funny people. We can deal with them as I conclude.
Come lady Katongolo. You know I like here a lot. Don't start insinuating. Our president said that we have to welcome everybody. Don't start insinuating. This is the come for the ticket, they come for Masanyas, they come for FTC. They're... No, yes, they are. But President Akugamba, welcome them. We are all the same. If you start insinuating, it means you are not respecting our president. We need to start respecting our president in words and in action. Because now what? What is our president is doing is winning over the people and you you are dismissing them your words are bad we are dealing with the people ugandans who are emotion we cannot be all radicals you were radical i'm not a radical i'm in the center but we have to be in it together let us listen to each other please and the other people have heard listen to our president do you call him stupid why don't you really leave pressure off him? He wins other people, and then you come and you play a card of dismissing, of mourning. You are putting our president in a, in, a, in a position that himself now is welcoming people, and now you, you are putting them down. And now they say, oh, they are putting us down. So what do you want? You, the president, you are not going to the street. So the president is trying to recruit other people. Other people, they come to us because they subscribe. It doesn't matter. It's not about predicting what is going to happen. We don't need it. We need the number to take out seven, whichever way. We are peaceful. We are non-violent. And these are the things we are going to do. It doesn't help to water down what the president has said. If you water down what the president is saying, you are losing. We are going to lose. What do you want? Dictator to go. How are you going to take him? You will never know. Things are going to come up. Things are going to come up. Things are going to burn up. Don't forget we are national unity platform. We want to liberate Uganda. We don't want to liberate only NUP. That is what you have have to know we want to liberate uganda when we are going to liberate uganda we are going to liberate uganda people of all different characters they will be annoying they will be relaxed they don't care they don't do what now listen to ugandans do they care health system is bad education is bad roads are bad no jobs Transportation is but they don't care. But put there, Alan skin, put there, but Tanzania platform, put there, Nigerian. There we go. Don't forget it. Around to our general Kavaka. Do are they Baganda? They are they all Baganda? No. People there is something they subscribe. So we should attract people in that way. We should attract people. But not saying Baze, Baze, Wadi Masanya, Zivazinga, Wadi Kadi, Bazinga, Wadi, Evil Mutum Banet, Temutumala, Comilembe, Tuagarana, Tukolaganene, Tulizom Kuru, Temukilizan, the Church into Chinuma. You disrespect the Robert Chabra, Church Chitigaza, until you disrespect him. You don't listen. That is the interpretation. Yagaragana, Yeri. Leader, your president we should all respect his what? His his decision to redesign. To mugomele le to mweko chance. Agenda le tena abalala, ali tena abalala, ali tena abalala, ali tena abalala. Echo siche muagala. That is what we want. And the more they keep on coming, museveni a jakubera mu trouble. They don't have money. They are going to lose the will to fight us because we are not giving up. We have got ammunition after ammunition. People, they are thinking not because they are under influence or they have money, but we we anchor on volunteer. Voluntarily. That people, if you sit down, they'll go to ISIS. If you sit down, they'll demonstrate. If you sit down, they'll campaign. If you sit down, they will. Hmm? 
na na pitie nga po nga pininga posters free political prisoners thank you so much pitie thank you so much do that let people we do, do that let the word free political prisoners dominate our show our language elamulaba maybe no we to take why cc political prisoners there at the highest at the him nabagamba a political card number one that the whole world will come on the board to help us and we should say it again and again those who gave up god will help you but today is me tomorrow is you today is my mom tomorrow is you you never know because we haven't taken out a dictator that is what we want so sum up the implication of submission of a case to ICC is big. We are gaining, we are winning. It is going to change the political environment. So there are people who are going to be implicated. Those are the people who are in position of power who accepted it to take Museveni's order than doing what their respective offices, principles, policies, and procedures they are meant to be doing. Our role is to remind them, to keep them on the guard, their action to remind the ICC to make sure this case is not dropped, is not dismissed, to make sure people they are not compromised. How much can I say that? Have you tweeted? Have you retweeted? Have you liked? Have you posted? Have you joined TikTok? I have joined the TikTok, but I haven't started it yet. But I, I'll get on the board. But at least I've downloaded the app and I have signed. Very soon, I'll be passing with the time. Have a lovely day. It's Monday, 17th July 20, 2023. People, power, our power, NEP everywhere, everywhere, NEP salute.